I wanted to revisit paper making. I am getting ready to create a coverless journal and I wanted to use some of the paper that I have created inside, splattered in, you know, throughout inside the journal. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe. I like to create videos that are 10 to 15 minutes short, concise, to the point, and I hope you will enjoy that and hit that notification bell. Now, to make paper, you need a mold and a decal. I created mine out of two picture frames by putting screen on one and leaving the other just open. And I'll attach the video showing you how my husband put those together for me, and it will be in the description below. But let's just get started in creating this paper. You shred all of your scraps, and I am adding in some dried flowers in this particular batch. I'm just putting it in a blender with a little bit of water, blending that for about 15, 20 seconds, and pouring it into a container that I use to house where I'm going to dip this pulp. So I will take the piece of file or not file folder a fo photo frame that I have put the screen on which is referred to as a decal and I will just dip that into this pulp and then lay the mold on top of it to kind of form the outside edge of that paper I'm letting the water drip off and now I'm going to take it over to an area that I've set up with shop towels. And I will just quickly flip this over on top of that shop towel. And once I have it flipped, I am utilizing a sponge to get all the excess water out of it. And as you can see, I put a little bit of pressure on there to help bind that uh, slurry together to create that piece of paper. So we will just push the water and squeeze it back into our, our slurry, and there you have the piece of paper. Once that dries, it will pull off of that shop towel quite easily. So let's just go through this process again. Dip it in the slurry, flip it over on the towel, and I get a little out of frame here, I apologize, but we're gonna fill all three of those shop towels there, so We'll, we'll get to the point, but again, you know, just push that water out and pull that screen off of your piece of paper and you have a piece of paper set there to dry. Now, when I finish getting all of these together, with them being on these shop towels, the shop towels you can buy at a hardware store, and they're a little thicker than a paper towel. And the nice thing about them is you can stack this paper. So as I finish this and pull the water out of it, the three in that top row are getting a little drier as I work on the, the remaining. And I will just stack those one on top of each other. What I do is I take them into my guest bedroom, turn on the ceiling fan, and let them dry overnight and then when I revisit them in the morning they are nice and dry and they pull right off of those shop towels and you have a stack of paper that you have created on your own and you can see how the uh, dried flowers are presenting themselves in this batch of paper and I am liking this batch so let's just take a final look at the process and it's just a, a real simple process but it does add a sense of creativity to any project that you do if you have inside it paper that you have created on your own out of your scraps and this is what that dried paper looks like and i will create or utilize it in my coverless journal, and I hope you will join me as I make that. Again, my name is Peg. This channel is Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I'm going to attach the first paper making video I did here, where you can watch my 
husband or the other old crow create that uh, mold and decal for me. So thanks for watching and bye for now.